Bonjour et bienvenue chez Madame Lambert. L'atelier du jour, the atelier of the day, gonna be about something that is extremely taboo, the review of the year, motherhood review. I hope you guys are ready. This review um, is gonna be for the mom of one, the mom of two, the new mom, the mom who can't do it anymore, the mom of 10, the mom who got it, the mom who doesn't get it and knows about to, you know, fall apart but at the end of the day i will let you know how i do to stay myself keep it cute keep a smile and don't lose it um all the time so give me a little minute and i will start with all your questions <laughs> the motherhood review will start with something as simple as um the advice that my mom gave me uh when i told her that i was pregnant for the first time she literally told me that like i'm not gonna ask you much besides stay true to yourself don't change because you're becoming a mom don't change because you becoming married or you're about to be married um don't let the hormones get too much out of you just stay the same because you will realize that like kids can tell what is fake and what is not and um that's how i stick to this advice and i mostly not too much um change you know i'm still doing my fashion show i'm still doing my makeup my hair i used to have long nails for those who knows me and i let my kids adapt to me most of the time i mean i take i take time to adapt to them when the circumstances needs to be, but um, they came to my life. I didn't come into their life. And I know that it might sound really selfish, but if you take the time to still being you, uh, you will see that you can do it. Like for example, uh, and I mentioned it previously, try to have an hour break for yourself. I don't care what it's gonna cost you. I don't know how you're gonna like divide it in a day, but um, most of the time I try to divide it in three parts. So at least it's it's really like even um, for the day. So usually in the morning, um, sorry, my phone. I don't know. <laughs> so usually in the morning, I keep it um, 10 minutes, you know, um, for myself and then um, in the afternoon I keep it you know another 10 minutes and uh, at night depending on what I do or not you know you can keep it 30 minutes 20 and then you have like the midnight break too that you can do but you find your own way to have time for yourself during that time it can just be to finally drink a warm tea warm coffee it can be to catch up with a girlfriend it can be like me you know to do this whole face uh of makeup or your hair or it can just be to sit and just just relax but uh, i'm pretty sure that you can do it the second advice uh would be to be organized like i was already organized by nature but to know what my kids needs and figure it out how they function helped me to have them have a routine like you can decide on which day you give them you know the bath or the shower um you can do the prep meal if that you know help you but just sit down and put like your mood board or how um, your household gonna work like it really helped um, the other thing too about motherhood that really really um, came to me and I think we are to the point you know number three is to sit down and agree with your significant other your boyfriend your husband whoever is in this journey with you to decide how you're gonna raise the kids how that person gonna help you raising the kid how that person gonna help you um keep your sanity and there's one thing that i realized um with husband sherry like we call him like i call him is that um he rarely tell me what do you want me to do 
it's always what can i do for you and that just sentence every time that i'm like mad or about to lose it or the kids are crazy or even when it's quiet the fact that he comes to me already ready to help puts um my mind and my heart at ease and um in this motherhood review is to let you know that to be honest the first two years gonna be rough it's gonna get you it's gonna get the person that is in this journey with you and it's gonna get your in-laws and it's gonna get your family because you're struggling with your hormones you probably doesn't really know what you're doing and then you have to adapt to this new little like human being so when people tell you to really enjoy the first six to eight months with that baby you should really do it because they don't fully talk yet they might just be crawling you just you're just in control you know and after that eight months depending of your child development it's just gonna be like you know <laughs> freestyle all the time and you will have to adapt like all the time but one of the thing that people tend to do uh, the mistake about they think that a kid brings you together it doesn't it brings you together when the kid is past three years or four years because they talk because they can tell you what's going on and all you know different things but the first two years of having a kid, you're going to go through hell with your significant other. And if you are lucky like I was, and depending on his personality, you might clash or you might not clash because that person going to need to understand that you're not in a mood for sex because you're tired, because you put the baby to bed, because you breastfeed too much, because you don't even understand what's going on with these hormones because you don't like your new body you know it's not everybody that's like celebrity lucky and go like snap like that you know it's not gonna happen so the first two years are hard i don't want nobody to tell you that um it's easy it is not you're gonna suffer you're gonna cry and gonna be hard but if you are prepared well then you get this and at the beginning, I was prepared and I lost it a little bit and I went back um, to my road. But um, yeah, they, they, they miss on telling you that you're going to literally be the professor of your kid. You're going to teach them, you know, how to how to drink, how to eat, how to, the, the potty train. Let's not even start with this because, oof. It gave me hot flashes, you know, how to talk, um, you know, how to get dressed, things that you do because, well, you don't even remember when you start to do it, but you're going to have to manage all of that. And sometimes you're not in a mood to teach. Sometimes you just like want to be in pajamas and like eat Doritos, you know, and drink wine. But um, you can still do that with the kids, but it starts to be um, complicated motherhood too which is really unfair and and to don't throw shade but i would still throw shade is like you're gonna lose a lot of friends because your friend that don't have kids they're not gonna understand what you're going through they're not gonna bother try to understand what you're going through and they're not even gonna try to hang with you to see what's going on so you start to build your mom crew and that mom crew if you don't have shitty mom well you will make it through um those two years but you have to socialize so if socializing is not your thing then you're gonna feel really alone and talking to a baby all the time you know um is really rough the first months you know and then you have the pressure of going to work because your job they don't care about you being a new mom you know it's not it's not their problem so you're gonna have all of that going on and um you might be lucky enough you know if um you don't have a nervous breakdown which i did 
you know, I fully shaved my head uh, with Maximilian like three months in without even knowing, you know, that uh, I had this like postpartum depression. I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. But every Wednesday I was shaving my head. But I had nobody to talk to. And even my friend that they were mom, they didn't have time because they were struggling too. And you have this crew of mom that don't want to put a word that it's I'm suffering, I'm struggling. No, we like, my mom, I keep it strong. No, it's okay to call your friend and be like, I can do it. Can you take over just over the phone and talk to me? So, um that's one of the part of motherhood like and at the same time it's an advice to find a good friend and I do believe that the friend that stick with you while you're pregnant and while you become a mom or the friend that are going to stick with you um, for the rest of the journey and it's okay you know um, if you lose the rest motherhood too going to be hard on another level because if you don't have the right significant other who's not gonna understand that you're not his priority for the first year or two years, uh, things might go, you know, how do you say that? Tingling, like down? <laughs> um, and, that's, and that's another thing. You have to make the person that live with you and that you're married to or the person that you had the baby with the like right now the priority is on me and this child because if you miss the gap of like raising your kid and giving him the good basis the first two to three years then it's really really hard to catch up so um yeah the truth is you might spend you know a month or two without having intercourse and some men they don't some women too like they don't want to hear it they just like what do you what do you mean we don't have sex this week you're like yeah like i'm tired i can't i can't do it and he will need to substitute that need not by cheating you know there's all type of porns and whatever like he can do it but he would have to be patient and wait for you and that's the part of love but some mom don't have that chance and and you know they ended up being cheated on or or distance or all type of thing and that's a hard part of motherhood is like motherhood let you see who is who the truth come into the house that you're living and if you miss that road it's really really hard um to come back and on those level i was really really lucky um to have a man who was like hey you know you're doing you you're doing amazing for our kids and i can't wait because i know that once those kids gonna be dope well i get you know all the rewards of the world um the things too about this motherhood review and the positive things is like no matter what you do you're doing great even when you're failing you're still doing great because you're learning you know and um i did a lot of mistakes you know my kids fell off you know the changing table i forgot to feed them all type of things but <laughs> At the end today, they are just fine. So if you want to cry, cry. If you're sad, sad. If you want to have that glass of wine, have that glass of wine. If you want to have the bottle, have the bottle. As long as you can function around your kids and the next day and um, still do uh, amazing things for them. But um, motherhood is like this job that you don't really know if you apply for it. And you have tasks that comes to you all the time and you cannot fully mess it up, you know. Um, this this is a way of uh, of seeing things. The other thing is like, um, don't listen to society. Your body is your body. You recover when you want to recover. If you don't want to have those apps, you will not have those apps. If you want to have those apps, you will have those apps. But at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're happy and then your kids 
and your significant other will be happy to, happy too and that's where comes the treat yourself i have a lot of my friends they like admire me because oof no matter what oh your girl i'm gonna go get my bag my perfume my makeup uh, my snacks i do my hair i am not bothered at all and you know what because that one specific day i was super crying i was so depressed because um this broke my heart and i called my mom and she literally told me she's like listen i'm gonna put my makeup on drink my coffee brush my hair and i call you back and this is where i realized that like in order for my mom to listen to me and to be fully happy and helping me she needed to do her first and from that day i made a promise to myself that i am always gonna do myself and then when i'm fully happy i can function and listen to what my kids have to do and i know that it's really hard because you think that you're doing something selfish but your kids see you know if you're not happy your kid gonna feel it so treat yourself you can treat yourself with coffee you can treat yourself with a designer bag you can treat yourself with uh, a night out with your friend you can treat yourself with little jewelry you can treat yourself with just some time alone with the haircut with the foot massage um just to treat yourself is having that time like i was saying in the point one just take that time for yourself like motherhood is like this roller coaster that you didn't fully want to get on but then when you get on you kind of vibe it until you have the other loops you know will give you like stomach ache but you still want to jump back in yes this is motherhood it's going to be extremely hard um i tried to make that video short to just give you a little heads um what's going on if you have questions please um put them on the comment i always answer um if you're shy because you don't want people to see your name uh, you can still check me <laughs> on my instagram you can dm and for those who have my number you know just call like i pick up my phone if i like you but um i hope you enjoyed this little video um i hope to see you very soon keep on liking subscribing uh, <laughs> following and i see you you know in another atmosphere boop <laughs>